Welcome, rodents, to more of the best Ludum Dare 46 games with me, Jamie from Randomised User. All games here are based on the theme of Keep It Alive, and remember to check the playlist for more videos in this series. And we start with Mousetrap. This is a cunning little game where, especially like The Cube, the film The Cube, only with mice, running around a little maze. We have to avoid the things, and we have to find the cheese in one of the end cubicles. Although there might actually be more than one ending to this. Oh, 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 oh careful. Right, so maybe these um these are clues to where we need to go. Apparently we're, we're told in an intro that the green star is what we need to look for. Uh-oh. Oh dear. I think these are the Ludum Dare colours. Oh, top hat. <gasps> right, okay, so that chessboard is death, if we're not careful. So let's, let's go left. <gasps> oh, this, this is a, this is a, a grey star. Which, this, this may actually be one of the exits, but not sure if it's going to be the, um, the good exit. Ooh. We have some cheese. Good job. <laughs> a new mouse for my tests. I wish you good luck to survive. <laughs> but if you succeed, you will have a huge fromage. Don't forget the most important. To find the exit, look for the green star. So that's one run. Let's try a different route this time. See what else we can get. You can actually spin the camera, but it doesn't seem to apply to other rooms. But let's have a go. Let's have a bit of a run. Let's go left. This should be fairly straight forward. Oh, they only activate when you run on those. Okay. Oh, a red star. Oh. Oh, careful. Okay, so that's actually... A oh, bloody hell. That's actually a dead end. There's no another one of these. Red top hat. Intriguing. I think we're going to end up me meeting the old route if we're not careful. Oh, this feels like the old route. Well, this is different. Let's go left. Maybe you have to go really deep. Oh, this is another another a dead end. Ooh. Now, was this where we went last time? I think it was. Let's try... Okay, we've actually met up, haven't we? Let's try going over here this time. Ooh! Oh, no! Okay. Timing. Sweet. Ooh. And this is another dead end room. This is a fake cheese room, by the looks of this. Right, let's try and go down here. I think there might have only been one exit after all, then. Oh! I think it turns out I did. Uh, I went well first time, so... Go me! <laughs> this is the messenger assist, where you have to rewire a spaceship on the fly. It's very, very hard. I just can't shake these guys. Computer, run a combat diagnostic. Crap. The shield battery is out. Computer, reroute. Power to the shield battery input. I'm the computer, by the way. Right, so we need to plug something into there. So I think we just need to extend some wires somewhere. Or we re rewire things. Hang on, let's try... rewiring that to there. Okay. That'll buy us some time. Now, let's work on losing this tail. Hmm. So that's the main power centre there, which I have to generally wire things into, and bypass and all sorts of things. Everything's fine so far, though. Uh oh What was that? Auxiliary power's out! Right, I think I need to rewire this. Let's place that maybe into there? Red is bad. Cyan is good. Oh, uh-oh. The whole damn converter is overheating. Computer, bypass the converter coils. We need juice running directly to the main splitter. That's no good. Hang on, let's put that back in. I need to... Okay, let's put that into... Oh dear, things are going seriously wrong now. Okay, we need to... We need to... Ooh, ooh. Good. Oh, that worked. Now I don't know how long I can keep up this pace. Somehow. I need the engine boosted as fast as possible. So we need to boost the engine. I'm not quite sure what to do here. Okay, let's... Oh, things are blowing up. Oh, something happened. Excellent. What about you? About no. You up. Relay. Oh, oh there seems to be some sort of crappy vent thing. Who cares about the vents? Um, go with that. Oh, oh dear, we've got 16 seconds. We need to warp out of here five minutes ago. Never mind about that, love. Uh, put something in, something good. You. Not you! Get up! 
Oh, something happened. Oh, we've got two seconds. Oh, no. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I think I panicked at the end there. So this is apparently a very short game, but it's all about working out what the hell you're actually doing. And I haven't quite done it yet, but I'm starting to get there. Um, I just need a few more goes. This is Mycelium. This is an action tower defense game where you have to protect the mother mushroom and keep it watered as well for health. There we go. And the mother mushroom will occasionally toss out mushroom spores which turn into unique types of turrets. Like, we've got to protect the thing at all- oh dear, it's already hurting because of you. Right, let's let's try and get one of these egg type things to get some more turrets on the go. We really need to keep this watered. So yeah, every time an enemy dies, it drops water. So you need to continuously go and gather more water and keep the mother mushroom alive. Right, here's something else. Here's another turret. Let's place it. Well, let's see where things are coming from first. You are very slow, so you got to be you got to be a bit thoughtful about where you're going. We need a new wave. Oh, we've also got loads more eggy type things. Okay, over there. Right, here we go. Oh, and over there as well. So there are loads of different kinds of mushrooms that you can actually discover in this. Oh, water, 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 water. And it's just a case of finding the best ones. And then re healing everything as you go. Let's try to keep the, the mother healed as much as possible. I'm not sure if I'm hitting the sweet spot when it comes to watering that. Feels like I'm missing sometimes. Right, you can get watered a little bit as well. No, I've run out of stuff. Oh, there could be from above and below. Okay, fine. Little bastards. Right, let's aim over there. There we go. You'll basically throw it wherever the mouse cursor is. We've got to be careful. Right, water, water, water. That seems to be a good spot. Although I think the, um, the mother mushroom takes ages to actually repair. Right, grab you. I've got health as well, but I can't directly hurt anything. I've got to do it in indirectly. Okay, down there still. Okay, fine. Let's make sure that we grab the water. Our water bar is very low. I'm not getting very good at this um, replenishing lock. Oh dear! Hang on, grab that again. So everything above is... everything at the top seems to have actually um, died off, so we're going to have to sort ourselves out very quickly. All the turrets are dying. Oh god. No! Mother, mother Mushroom, no! Hang on. You and you. New turrets. Let there be new turrets. There we go, that's more like it. Back to some reasonable health anyway. Right, grab you. Grab you. And do you. Right, feeling a bit better, but we need some more mushroom spores. Come on, lads. Give us some more. Otherwise we're going nowhere fast. There's one, there's one. And there's some more. Let's put them in the way of that those lads over there. Right, come on, come on, do some business. Oh sh- Oh no, it's surrounded! The mother mushroom! No! Oh hello. Thankfully we got a bounce- Oh no! I think we're dead. I think the mother mushroom has died, and we're all about to explode into death. Oh, this is cool. This is a, it's, it's weirdly slow paced and frantic at the same time. It's really rather fun. This is Keeper of the Flame, a particularly well-made platformer in which I have to take the flame to the end of the level to light the brazier, avoiding the evil winds that surround you at all points. Uh, now, we've got to be very careful because that wind... If you touch anywhere near the wind, um, you will die and have to restart the level. Now it's things are going to start get, getting a little puzzlier. We've also got some levers, some opening doors, and later on we'll see like the water rising and falling and stuff like that. Right, that lever has actually turned off those winds. Now we've also got some updrafts below us, so we've got to be careful. They will also kill us. Now the collision between you and the, uh, the actual wind is actually quite brutal in this game. Um, you only have to go anywhere near it and you'll lose the game. But now we need to use our special mechanism of holding the flame. Oh, this is, this is not going to go well. Oh. oh, thank God for that. There we go. Uh, you, but you keep the flame hidden um, for a certain duration. You only get a, There's a bit of a bad cooldown on it. Anyway, let's um, flip that. This is just a little tutorial level. Introducing the new mechanism. And now we're a bit more in Puzzle City. Well, not really, but let's go and... Oh, careful! That was... I think the only time the collision isn't so brutal is when the water... Oh, the, the water slash air. It's actually air, but it looks a bit like water. Is, um, is when the water's just finishing, in which you can actually pretty much just touch, touch it with no problem. Right, so there's a lever that'll give us some down below to work with. Then we can pop over to the exit poos. I, should, I need to stop saying Ipoos. I promised myself that years ago. Right, so this one is a bit... Again, gotta be quick. Oh! 
No. I think for these ones, you, you do have to like keep your flame before you get to the top. Oh, and you can also not do it when you're in the air, as I've literally just discovered for the first time. It looks like we're going to have to keep the flame here. I think this is what I did previously. Right, go. Right, so we've unlocked one door, but not both doors. Uh, the middle lever... Ooh! I used to be able to do that. <laughs> uh, the middle lever will make the, the water rise, which we don't want to do just yet because we haven't opened both levers yet. There we go. Now, you should be able to make your way down... There we go, before they actually get you. So now I need to wait a little longer. We need to get to the middle one. Go. Now, will I have enough room to wiggle around here? Ooh, bloody hell. Yes, we did. Go! Ooh! 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 <laughs> yes. I'm fine. Yes! Up we go! Elevate me! Hurrah! Right, one more level. Right, this is starting to get a little puzzly now. I don't think I actually completed this first time around because there were a lot of levers. Right, so we can't actually get through there. Because that what, those um, those air gusts are permanent at the moment, so it looks like we're gonna have to go over here. Switch that lever, which has now turned off those winds, but we now can't get to it, so we'll have to go back down here to get the water back up again. There we go. Now I should be able to bounce across here. Pull the lever. Now what's that done? I think. That's a door down below. So once more we need to... No, it's not that one. That one's just a door opener. Switch that. Go down there. And what does... Oh! No! Oh! <laughs> well, I did exactly the same thing as I did when I was practicing. Bugger. This is Morphology. This is a game where you have a little morphling here and you have to evolve it into something good. Um, but first of all, you have to work out what the hell it needs. You have resources down here and you have to drag them onto it and see what happens with these bars here. There's like, I think there's health, hunger and mood. So fruits tend to be good. A pseudo fruit, the morphling appears less hungry and more content. Or we can give it some meats and that really seems to help the top two. The morphling appears much less hungry. Uh, then you have to experiment to see what other stuff does. Like, let's give it some armour. Oh dear, that went it went down on hunger, and I think happiness as well. The steps at the top are how many steps are left until it actually does evolve. So we've got to keep it alive until then. Let's give it some... Let's try some more meats, because I think it needs to be fed. There we go. And also again, it's, it's trying to communicate. It's giving me greenness and this kind of like whirlwind thing. If we look at previous evolutions that we've discovered, this is on previous goes, and you can slowly unlock the different forms. You can see the evolution tree. Previously, I got it to Urchin, Brute, and Guardian. And you can just like research what you what you found before. If I click this, it'll make the noises that it made first time around, which is nice. We're currently on the lava stage. So let's see, what else do we need to do? Let's try and give it some more armor. I'm making it less happy. Let's try medicine. Oh yes, it, it's, it's made, that's made it much happier. But it's also a bit hungry now. Right, we're nearly there. We just need to give it one more thing and we should evolve it. Now, what was happiness? I think medicine was happy, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't. It made it go down. But now, look, it's changed. The shape is closer to animalistic now. I sense some wariness from the morphling. Well, no wonder. Maybe it's for the best that it doesn't grow trusting people too much. I have a feeling this is a different one. Yeah, look, we've unlocked this one now. A hound. So we might be able to get it back on track to the brute, or we might be able to unlock it to a... unlock something different. Uh, we're starting to run out of resources, so we'll actually... Oh, hold on. We'll, let's feed it up. And also cheer it up a bit. And give it some more... Let's give it some fruits. And now let's go and scavenge in the city. So we're in the middle, and we've got... How many turns? We've got a certain amount of turns before we have to get back at base. In fact, I think it's at the top. Oh, no, it's not. It's, um, it's down there. Nine more locations. So let's not go that way. Let's go back here and try and grab as much trove as we can. Four, three, two... One. That wasn't the best scavenging in the world. But we've now got plenty of food and fabric. Not so much meat, which is a bit of a pain. And it's also very hungry, so let's give it one of our precious meats. Also some fruit. I think it's trying to communicate hunger at the moment. Otherwise, it's a bit... Mm, it's a bit wary. Let's give it some fabric. It makes it hungrier, but it seems to be a lot happier. Yeah, okay, more food. More fruits. It's very happy at the moment. Let's give it a toy. Oh! 
This toy is ravaged. Is it some kind of hunt training? Whatever works. Let's do that again. And evolved it into... It looks well balanced in terms of strength and empathy. Oh, this might be the root then. Might have actually got it back on track. I think it's clearly not a pet anymore. What then? A potential ally to humanity? What's left of it anyway? Yeah, we're going down the middle route. This is another brute. Uh, let's see if we can actually evolve it one more time. Well, giving it some fruits that I've just gone and scavenged, but it's giving it fruits seems to have suddenly made it go hearts down. I think we might need to give it medicine. <gasps> oh dear. This isn't, this isn't good. We're on the very edge of killing it. <gasps> We're so close to killing it. Give it some medicine. <gasps> Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have poked it with a syringe. Sorry, mate. Oh well, you were an alien. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. For more Ludum Dare and everything indie, subscribe to Randomize User and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. If you enjoy these videos, you can support me with a one-off tip at Buy Me A Coffee or join my Patreon. Check the description for links to those and the Ludum Dare 46 playlist. Bye bye.